food preservation and food poisoning. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get latest updates from learnfordafer.com. No doubt, there are plenty of advantages of microorganisms in our life. However, there is dark side also. Often, food items are attacked by microorganisms. These microorganisms grow on food item and many times produces toxic substances, making the food not suitable to eat. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn for Tuffet Android app. Download the app now. Such food is poisonous. Eating spoiled food leads to food poisoning. At severe conditions, it may lead to death. So how can we identify the spoiled food? Well, spoiled food have bad smells, bad taste and change in color. In order to have protection from food poisoning, it is very important to preserve our food. Here, in this video, we will learn different methods of food preservation. Chemical method In our households, grandma makes mango pickle which does not spoil for long time. Why is it so? Because it contains salts and edible oil. These are the common chemicals to prevent growth of microorganisms in food. These are called preservatives. In general, salt or acid preservatives prevent attack of microbes in pickles. Sodium benzoate and sodium metabisulfite are the common preservatives used in jams and squashes to check their spoilage. Preservation by common salt With the help of common salt, meat and fish can be preserved. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn for Tuffet Android app. Download the app now. While doing so, meat and fish are covered with dry salt. The layer prevents the growth of bacteria. Common salt is also used to preserve amla, raw mangoes, tamarind, etc. Preservation by sugar Sugar have ability to absorb water. So, it reduces the moisture content from the food, thereby preventing growth of microorganisms. Jams, jellies and squashes are preserved by sugar. Preservation by oil and vinegar Oil and vinegar does not allow bacteria to grow. Vegetables, fruits, fish and meat are preserved by this method. Heat and cold treatments Microorganisms cannot grow in hot and cold surroundings. Therefore, boiling of food kills the microorganism and Keeping the food in low temperature environment such as refrigerator prevent their growth. Pasteurization Milk is heated at about 700 degrees Celsius for 15 to 30 seconds and suddenly chilled and stored. Watch ad-free and complete syllabus on Learn for Tuffet Android app. Download the app now. By doing so, milk becomes free from harmful microbes. Since this method is discovered by Lewis Pasteur, therefore, the method of preservation is called pasteurization. 
Storage and Packing To prevent the growth of microorganisms, dry fruits and vegetables are sold in sealed, airtight packets. So I hope you have understood this topic very well. Thank you for watching this video. Like, share and subscribe learnfatafat.com and press the bell icon to never miss an updates from learnfatafat.com.